Hey guys, my name is Freedom. This is the beginner's tutorial of the Icon 8 and Character Creator 4 series. In the previous tutorial, we already learned how to create a 2D scene in Icon 8. And we already render, render this. This is a 2D image at the background with 3D animations. Right now, today we are going to learn how to create a 3D scene in Icon 8. Right now, we are going to open the previous file. It is on my desktop tutorial avatars animation last time. Now I open this file first. Right now it is already loaded. You can see actually we we already create the avatars animation and then finally we add a 2D 2D scene background. But if you want to create a 3D scene background, you're supposed not to put in the avatar and prop animations into the empty scene first. The first thing what you need to do is create a 3D scene. So we, we don't use this project. We are going to start a new project here. Right now, this is a whole new project. You can see, first we are going to apply some terrain. To find the terrain, first you go to the window, workplace, go to the standard. Right, once you go to the standard, under the contents, you can find it here. This is the terrain. Click on that. Now under the terrain folder, for me, now I have a height, mid, large, or mesh, medium. I'm going to choose one. For example, I choose the hill. Right. Now you can see this is, this is really, really a big size 3D terrain. I hold the shift, I scroll my mouse, I can see everything. This is really large, really big right now. This is the way to apply a terrain. Under this terrain, if you want to select it, you have to go to the scene. This is the terrain. And here actually, you can, just, you can adjust the height scale. You can make it flat, you can make it really tall. It is up to you. Now you can see now you make everything high like hills. You also can can make everything really short like short hill like this. Now then the second one is is the height height offsets. You can adjust the height of the terrain. Right. Once you know all this concept, the next one is the smooth. If if you drag in that way, everything will be very smooth. For example, just now it's not smooth, like this, all right? The smoothness, if you drag this, it will make all the terrain become more smooth. And now once you, you create a terrain already, you can see the sky is still dark. So the next, we are going to, after edit the terrain, we are going to apply the water, edit water and also apply the sky. We apply the sky first. So in order to put in a sky, what we are going to do is just go to the content. Should be here. Then which one is the sky? Sky is here. So now the sky, you, you can choose a few skies at here. For example, evening. If you double click the evening, you can see the evening sky is here. Right. This one dramatic, dramatic sky. Sometimes we just want a really simple blue sky, the universal, a universal blue sky. It is up to you. Or clear day, cloudy sky. Something like this. And then you may want to put some water, apply some water like the sea, the river, and also the pool. All right. Once you already have the sky. It is up to you to apply a water. As there more, I'm going to apply the water as here. So I will choose a suitable water, for example, the Pond Ripple. Double click. Now you can see the water already here. If I double click the deep flow, it is okay. You can select each type of the, the water. Then go to the scene, make sure you select the water, and then you can make some adjustment here. If you try to play, you can see Actually, the, the water is flowing. 
the wave size you can adjust to, to make it become big like this right or the wave speed you may want you want to make it flow faster now you can flow faster or you want to change the direction it is okay right click the water you press you may want to change the directions the direction is here 90 right if you put it 180 now if it will flow in different direction now you can see it flow to that direction direction if you put 300 and sorry if you put 270 change direction again I'll go to different direction it is up to you to adjust the water's direction the wave strength the wave size you may want to make it small the wave speed you want to make it flow slower and also you may want to change the height of the water now it's 50 if, if you put it as 0 now it, it will go lower a little, a little bit here now it's 0 if you put it 100 it will become higher 200 the height of the water will increase in that way so you just need to increase the, the number the height I'm going to put about 30 and then some of the 3d animation I can perform it I can perform it at here for example so we are going to focus at here drag our avatar to the terrain here to perform the animation now anytime you can go back to the hill to just adjust the, the height scale the height offset how much water you want it to be how tall is the terrain now a 3d scene is ready once ready then go to the next and say to edit the light once we finish edit the water ready we can edit the light all right the light actually is somewhere here when you see all these directions actually all of these are the, the light okay if you press we can change the, the color of the light once you click here this is the light strength this is another what we call the side light you can adjust right so now a, co a complete 3d scene already created here and now this is really ready for you to create your 3d animations right we are going to pause it here now this is the origin we can make some 3d animation at here so once we we finish edit lights we are going to pause it here for the for the next tutorial here i'm going to save this project click file save as save the project as and as demo i will save it on my desktop i will just name this as 3d scene right save it and next time we can we can perform some of the animation based on the 3D scene that we created in this tutorial. And we are going to stop here and see you on my next see you in my next video. I close it.